Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new, this is a new series that we have started in which we are trying to dissect segment trees from scratch. We already have six videos in this series in which we have discussed the basis of segment tree, how to build segment tree, how to do point updates and range queries, the detailed complexity analysis of each of these operations and the entire code walkthrough. After that, we went ahead to strengthen our understanding of point updates and range queries. And in that journey, we have solved a couple of different problems that includes queries on the prefix of an array. And uh, there are like, if you are new to this concept, I would encourage you to watch this particular video. And there are a couple of practice problems as well, which you can try out yourself. And we have solutions for most of the practice problems here. Now, in this particular video, we will be looking at how to do binary search on a segment tree. So this will be interesting. Uh, let's start. So let's start with the problem statement first. Let's say you are given an array and you are given, you have to answer some queries and in each query you will be given an integer X and you need to answer what is the first index I, which is like up to which the sum is greater than equals to X, right? So in this particular example, let's say X is uh, six, right? Now you need to figure out what is the first index I where the sum is greater than equals to six. So up till here, the sum is one, right? Up till here, the sum is five. Up till here, the sum is seven. So this seven is greater than equals to six. So the answer for this particular query would be two. So two is the first index at which the sum is greater than or equals to six, right? Similarly, let's take one more example. Let's say X is uh, four. So in this case, the answer would be one. Basically one is the first index up till which the sum is greater than or equals to four, right? So how to solve this? So you can think of it uh, as a very easy problem wherein you will just figure out, you'll just uh, find out the prefix sum of the given array and just do a binary search for the given X. So if X is six, let's say you will just do a binary search over here and figure out what's the first element, which is greater than or equals to six. And you will land on that particular index, which will be the answer, right? So what is the time complexity of this entire approach? The time complexity would be log n per query right? Because you are doing a binary search over a array of size n. So the time complexity would be Q log n for let's say Q number of queries, right? Now let's uh, introduce or let's make it a bit harder. Let's say there are now two kinds of queries. The first query is uh, exactly similar to the previous one, wherein you are given a number X and you need to figure out the first index where the sum is greater than or equals to X. And the second query says that uh, update the value of this particular index to this particular X, right? So for example, the query, the query can say that, okay, update the index three to value five, right? So in this case, you can see if you do this kind of query, the previous approach would not work. Basically, if you do this kind of query, the pre prefix sum array would not stay constant. So if this become five, this will become 12, right? And similarly, this will become 14 and so on and so forth. So basically everything after this uh, would change and uh, hence this query can still be done in order log n time, but this query will now happen in order n time. So whenever, whenever an update come, you need to update the prefix sum array and to update prefix sum array, you will require order n time because almost all the element, like in worst case, all the elements can be affected with that change, right? So the current complexity is order Q into N where Q is the number of queries and for each query you require and time in the worst case. Now you have to optimize this. How exactly will you optimize this? 
so for this let's look at or let's try to expand this binary search a bit so here we like for to answer the first kind of query we are doing a binary search so what exactly this binary search would look like if you try to expand so ideally you will do lower bound or upper bound but if you try to actually write down this binary search it would look something like this right now what exactly you need you need the prefix sum at a particular index m right and what does prefix sum means prefix sum means that find me the sum in the range 0 to m right so you like in other words you have to answer two kinds of query first update a particular index to x and second find me the sum in this particular range so hope you can see how that this two problems or these two operations is something that segmentary can do very effectively in log n time so you can simply replace this algorithm by something like this let's say you have segmentary uh, which actually st like stores the sum the property that segmentary stores is the sum and in that segmentary you can just query every time you want to make you want to find out the prefix sum in the range 0 to m and once you get prefix sum everything else would be exactly same right so this would be the new query operation so the update would take log n time because update in a segmentary uh, is always log n right and the first operation will now be log square m how log square n because we are doing a binary search and inside binary search we are calling query on the segment tree which will take log n time so basically whenever do binary, whenever you do binary search you will hit log n number of uh, uh, log n number of integers along the way right so number of m's that you will evaluate is log n and for each m you are doing a query over the segment tree which will take log n time so you are doing log n operation log n number of times and hence the entire complexity of this particular algorithm would be log square n right so the complexity of overall the overall complexity would now be q into log square n because a log square n will dominate the log n factor and hence uh, in worst case every operation can be a query operation and you will take log square n operation to answer that query and this is the final time complexity now can we optimize this to the initial complexity itself can we optimize the can we remove this extra log n factor from here so the answer is yes and this is something we will do by using segmentary so let's look at how so notice this particular algorithm let's just try to copy this or move this here and now let's try to look at the segmentary so what exactly segmentary nodes store so the first node so this is exactly the same array as before uh, 1 4 2 1 2 3 0 4 uh, these are the root like these are the leaves of the segment trees and we are storing the sum as a property so 1 plus 4 5 2 plus 1 3 and so on and so forth now what is the first node that will store in the segment tree it will store the sum of 0 to 7 right now what will be the left child storing left child will store everything in the range 0 to 3 and similarly right child would be storing everything in the range 4 to 7 now basically left child will store everything in the left half and right child will store everything in the right half if we divide the array into exactly two halves right now if you go to left child what does the left child of this particular node stores again it will store if you divide this particular array into half left child will store the value in the left half and right child will store the value in the right half and similar is the case for the right child 
So isn't this structure exactly similar to the binary search structure? So in binary search, what we do, we usually query initially in the complete range 0 to n minus 1. And then we try to look at the half, like at the index, which is at the middle of the element, middle of the array. And we decide whether to go left or right. And once we go left, let's say uh, you decide to go left. Once you go left, again, you will uh, partition the array into half and decide whether to go left or right, right? So this structure is exactly similar to how binary search structure would work. So therefore, we can simply map binary search into segmentary itself. How? Let's look at it. So let's say we like we need to find the same thing. We need to find the first index, which is uh, greater than target, greater than equals to target, right? So let's say the value of target or x, like x or target, is the same thing. So let's say the value of x is six. So you need to find the first i, which is greater than equals to six, uh, up till which the sum is greater than equals to six. So you look at here, the sum is 17. That is okay because that means answer exists. Now you need to decide whether to go left or right. So you look at the left child, left child store everything in the range zero to three. So you say that, okay, left child has the sum eight. It means there is, there are enough nodes such that the sum of those nodes are eight. And what you want, you want the sum to be six. So basically you are sure that whatever you are looking for will exist in the left part and you will completely skip the right part. Now, once you reach here, you will again do the same thing. You will divide the array into half. In other words, you will go to the left part and see what is the sum. The sum here is five and what you're looking for, you're looking for six, right? So basically it means if you go left, you will only find enough elements such that the sum of them would be five. So in this particular scenario, you are sure that if you go left, you will not find whatever you need and hence you have to go right, right? So if once you go right, you the sum here is three. So will you compare this three with six? The answer is no, because you have skipped five previously, like by not going to left, you already have skipped two elements, which or few, like few elements, which sums to five. And because you have skipped those elements, you can subtract the contribution of those elements from your required result. In other words, what we are saying that we have already gone through, or we have already skipped those elements, which have sum of five. Now I just need to find out the first element where the sum is greater than equals to one, right? So let's just try to get it over this point. We do the exact same thing as we do in binary search. We look at the entire array. We divide this array into half. Now dividing this array into half means that we will get this particular value in as the sum of the left half. Now we'll compare this value with the result we see that, okay, the value is greater. It means we will be getting the first index where the value will be greater than equals to six in the left half itself. So we go to the left. Now from eight, we do the same thing. We try to compare five with six and we saw that, okay, five is less than six. It means if we go to left, we will only get those, or we will only get the maximum sum of five. So we should, we will not get the answer of answer for what we are looking for, right? So we decide to go right and skip the left, but because we have skipped the entire left part, we already have skipped two elements here, which will sum to five. And if you are going to the right, it means you are now searching in this particular range, right? So everything that you will be getting, so in this entire tree, whatever you will be getting will be in this particular range two to three, 
so because you have already skipped 0 to 1 you can just subtract this contribution from the contrib from the x which you are searching for so you will say okay i have already skipped 5 and i wanted what is the first element which have the sum up till which the sum is greater than or equal to 6 now i will say what is the first element where the sum will greater than or equal to 1 and again we go here we divide the other into half so we'll look at the left one left one has 2 which means that like which is greater than 1 so basically it means that we will get our result in the left half so we go to the left from here and finally we reach a leaf node 2 comma 2 and because this is a leaf node this is our answer right and you can verify this is the first index up till which the sum or the up till which the first time the sum become greater than or equals to 6 right so this is how you will use this segment tree itself to just decide whether to go left and right left or right and you will finally like after you apply this entire algorithm you will be finally reaching at the leaf node now what is the complexity of this entire algorithm you are starting from root and you are reaching to a particular leaf so number of nodes from root to leaf is log n and hence the entire algorithm would just run in log n, log n number of time or like in log n complexity so basically we have reduced this log square n thing to log n by simply removing this binary search completely and utilizing this segmentary property itself so segmentary property was everything in the left half is in the left child everything in the right half is in the right child so we can simply utilize this to perform binary search and reach our result right so hope you understand how we are able to do binary search over a segment tree now where all you can apply this you can apply this entire algorithm this exact algorithm where you are asked to do a binary search involving some prefix of the array plus there is an update as well because if you if there is no update you can simply do like uh, binary search over a pre-computed prefix right because uh, just to give you an example previously we have started with uh, this particular queries where we don't have any update so for that we saw that okay we'll just uh, do a binary search over a pre-computed prefix array and that would just work but as soon as update comes that pre-computed prefix is something which will not be a valid and recomputing that prefix is actually costly and that's where you can use this segmentary al uh, algorithm to do updates faster and to just uh, use the segmentary property to do binary search now most of the time it will come as a prefix sum variation itself so one of the example could be given a binary array which contains 0 or 1 you will have to answer two types of queries first find the first index where the number of zeros is equal to x right and second query would be like flip the element at index i so notice that try to solve this question without this uh, query first basically you will have to model this question into prefix sum question and try to solve without this uh, update now once you model this question in prefix sum and solve that you can bring this particular update and just replace your uh, pre-computed prefix array with a segmentary dynamic query and you will be done so in the next couple of videos we will be looking at uh, exact uh, problems which will utilize this exact algorithm and we'll be looking at the code as well so for now i hope you understand how to do binary search by just using segment tree without taking the help of an external binary search function so with that if you have any doubts in the particular video Feel free to post that in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.